Thanks so much, Tom. New on THV 11, Pine Bluff is getting ready to cut the ribbon on a project the city started back in 2019. THV 11's Frederick Price went to see what's new and what people there are expecting. Phase one of the downtown Pine Bluff streetscape project is nearly finished, and a couple of businesses that I talk with today tell me they hope the new look will attract more customers. Tracy Cooper is a barista at Indigo Blue Coffee House in downtown. Um, I have been in Pine Bluff for right now about six months. When she moved here, she will admit she had quite an opinion. It, it kind of reminded me like of a ghost town, you know, um, but other than that, I could still see the potential. It didn't take long for her to notice that the construction happening right in front of the store was the beginning of a new chapter for her and the city. To see that they were, you know, starting to really put um, money into bringing it back up, you know, that gave me some um, excitement. Next door is Unique Cakes, a business that has been in the area for over 10 years. The owner, Margaret Smith, says it was time to see something new and hopes that more people will start to visit her shop again. I was all for it. I was excited because Pine Bluff needs to come back. I remember Pine Bluff when it was like the place to be on the weekends for the smaller towns around us. Joy Blankenship says right now the city is putting on the finishing touches to the development project. About to see the end of what we call phase one of our streetscape. We're so excited because it's been going on for many, many years. And she says with new benches and safer sidewalks added to Main Street, she's hopeful for an increase in traffic and new businesses. We just needed that a new look, a new meaning to what our, our downtown could look like and feel like to work towards. And Pine Bluff, Frederick Price, THV 11 News. Construction is set to officially wrap up this month. The city expects to begin phase two as soon as they get the approval from the Arkansas Department of Transportation.